my dear precious friends a lot of you are under attack from the enemy you must stand up against this enemy with the word of god life and death is in the power of the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruits thereof if faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of god be careful what you're saying out loud in your home when you argue and you fight you lose the spirit in your home and that spirit is there and you've got to cast that unclean spirit out of your home don't give the devil any place in your home he's going to attack us church but if you'll stand I'm, I'm telling you i know what i'm talking about because i through my walk with god i have learned this and i'm at that place now does the enemy still attack me yes but I don't give him any place. I walk away. I walk away. Get away from the situation. I don't allow the enemy uh, to drag me into it. Because church, the devil cannot make any of us do anything. We do it through the weakness of this flesh. Because the flesh is weak. The Holy Spirit of God told me one time, he said, Donna, the flesh is weak, and in it is no good thing. And I said, that's the truth right there. The Holy Spirit said, if the flesh is so weak, how come you cannot overcome it? And I said, hey, I'm your best friend. Remember me, Lord? And he said, Donna, don't use the weakness of the flesh of why you cannot win victory. Use it as an advantage that if it is so weak, overcome the the weakness of this flesh win the victory when we stand before God we cannot say the devil made us do it the devil does not make us do anything we do it ourselves and we do it willingly church the enemy is going to keep coming he's not going to stop let me tell you how my attacks are the devil don't just walk up in here all brazen like some bow lying anymore. Oh, he used to. He don't do that no more. He's got to sneak up on me. A few weeks ago, I was laying down and something pushed me in the back. And I rose up with the boldness of God and I said, Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Who do you think you are coming up over here pushing me in my back? I said, Leave this house in the name of Jesus. Do not return here again. I had no fear. I stood with the authority given to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I know who I serve. I know God. I know the power of God. I know that if that spirit that came in here, if I would have gave it a place, it would have done more than just push me in the back. But because I stood in faith and authority, it couldn't do anything. You see, church, we have choices to make. How we're going to react to each situation. Now, I know a lot of people out there have some family members that are not saved. But it will not make the situation any better by trying to shove the word of God down their throat. Let your light shine, church. Let your light shine that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I know one thing, church. The devil cannot get in the door with the blood of Jesus over the door. I know the devil cannot cross the hedge of God. Even in Job, the devil told God he had to remove the hedge. Now, I put the hedge of God around each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's most holy name. That that enemy cannot enter into your homes and come against you with great force. That you win the victory in the name of Jesus. Church, don't be weary in well-doing. You're not alone. The devil ain't got a new bag of tricks. The devil's doing the same old six and seven he's been doing since the beginning of time. And why? Because it works so well on us. Well, I don't know about you, but I got tired of having my butt kicked. 
And I told God I want in on the butt kicking. Well, today, church, I have that because I don't give place to the devil. I keep my big mouth shut. When someone says something ugly to me, I keep my mouth shut and I walk away. Because the devil does not want you to love. He wants you to hate those that are mean to you. He wants you to hate your loved ones. He wants you to argue with them and fight with them. He doesn't want you to have peace in your home. Well, I'm here to tell you, church, we don't care what the devil wants. We are here to do what God has called us to do, and that's what we're going to do. And God has already equipped you, church, with everything you need to win. Take your sword, church. Take the word of God and use that word. Stand on that word. Know that word. But listen, church. Those of our families that are lost, you're not going to win them over by trying to stuff the word of God down their throats. I promise you, you won't win them over by beating them over the head with the word of God. You won't win them over by condemning them or judging them or telling them they're going to hell. That will not win them over. You must win them over in love. Let your light shine, church. Let your light shine. Let them see the love of God in you. Let them see what God is doing for you. And that will bring them over. When I started learning the peace of God, I didn't go to my husband and my family members and say, Woo, I'm learning the peace of God. I'm walking in His peace. Hallelujah, glory to God. No, I didn't say anything. My husband kept saying, something's different about you. And this all happened to me when I was off the internet. You know, when my computer went down in uh, 2013, before I came back on, he said, something's different. And I said, yes, I'm learning the peace of God. And I'm, I'm starting to see God rewarding me every time I walk in that peace. And I told God, it is worth it when someone attacks me to walk away. Because I'm receiving a reward from God for this. God was rewarding me. I told Preston, Preston, for the first time in my life, I, I'm, I'm walking in this peace and I'm seeing God moving. I'm praying and, and I'm seeing him doing what I asked him to do. And Preston said, that's amazing. He, and Preston already had that knowledge on peace. I was just now moving into that realm. And now my husband said, I want to learn that peace. Because I see it in you. And that changed everything, church. I want you to know that changed everything. And it's going to change for you. Now, all of you that are arguing in your homes and you got some big old devils that's living with you, walk in that peace. And all of you that's been arguing right now, you've got to come against that spirit that you loosed into your house because you did lose spirits. Now, let me tell you something the Holy Spirit told me. He said, Donna, Jesus said if two or three are gathered together in his name, he says, there am I in the midst of you. He said that also goes for the devil. Be careful what spirit you're dwelled together in because I promise you that spirit will be there in your home. So when you're arguing and fighting and even condemnation or judging someone, that spirit is there with you. Because that's the life and death that's coming out of your mouth. So be careful what you're sowing because you will reap it. I promise you, you will. It will come back on you. So be very careful, church. Let's stand together in love and power and victory. And now I'm going to pray for all of you. Oh, dear Father. My Father that I love with all my heart and my soul. My God. Father, I come before you now in the name of my Lord Jesus. And I bring my sisters and my brothers before you. Those that are beaten down. Those that are weary. Those that feel like they are losing the fight. Those that the enemy is beating them down. Father, I bring them before you. That you will give them a touch. Touch them, Father. Give them strength. 
Give them hope. Let them know victory is ours. Touch them, Father, from the top of their head and the soles of their feet and heal them of their infirmities. Give them a word from you, Father, that will encourage them to stand up. Stand, Father. This is your desire is that your church has victory. I bring them before you, Father, that you may touch each and every one of them with your love, with your mercy, and with your grace, that they will be the church of the living God, that they will know victory, and they will know peace, and they will know the love of God. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen. Church, we're in this to win this. And we are the overcomers. We are not the defeated church. We're the church that's going to enter through the gates of heaven with praise and thanksgiving. Amen. I love you, my dear, dear, precious friends. And I bind that devil away from every one of you. I cast him out into the desert places where there is no rest. And he will go because there's power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. Amen and amen. I love you, church. I love each and every one of you. I want you to win. I want you to prosper. I want you to be blessed. I want you to know peace. Oh, peace was the greatest gift that I learned. I learned peace and it was amazing. And that's what I want for you. The peace of God. Church, when you feel it, you don't understand it. You can't explain it. You just have an overwhelming feeling come on you. And you just feel the peace of God. And you say, woo! Now that's the good stuff right there. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your peace. And when I feel that peace, I can smell the Holy Spirit of God. Oh, and it is so sweet. It's like you can taste the sweetness of it. And it is the most beautiful smell. I tell God, Woo, you smell good. Yes, you do. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, church, it's nothing like it. I love you, church. God bless you. God bless you all.